Hey, hey, how's it going? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. I hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today we're going to do the one guitar acoustic version of the Stain song, Something to Remind You. And this is in that Aaron Lewis kind of solo acoustic guitar version. It's really fun to play. And this is from their self-titled seventh studio album in 2012. And I got a bunch of requests to teach this song, so I'm glad to bring it to you. Structure-wise, it's pretty easy. There's only three parts. There's the intro, which is the same as the verses, and then a pre-chorus and a chorus. You learn those parts, and then they repeat. You'll have the whole song. Now, as far as tuning, like a lot of Stain songs, they're in an alternate tuning, and here, like Aaron Lewis, a lot of times, he'll tune down to E-flat for a lot of his solo acoustic stuff. And this song is, if you want to play along with the live version, or Aaron Lewis version, it's an E flat tuning. So go ahead and tune your strings down a half a step each. So low to high, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat. And don't get intimidated by the names of the chords you're gonna need to know to play this song. And I'll show them to you as we do each section. I think that'll make it easier. And if you have trouble with some of the bar chords in the song, I can really help you with that. Click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll put a link to my free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing and changing techniques and tips and exercises. It's a killer video lesson. It's extended play. It's not on YouTube. Packed with technique tips and exercises on how to get your bar chords and bar chord changing to the next level. It's a killer one-two punch. The ebook has more lessons, more exercises, more chord charts in it. Click on that link. I'll send it to you for free. So the acoustic version of the song starts with an intro and that intro he plays two times and that's the same progression that he plays in the verses. So the intro and the verses are the same progression and that intro repeats again later in the song two more times uh, so it's an important progression let me play it for you one time around then I'll go back and explain it here's what it sounds like two times and on the third time you do it that's when the first verse starts so this is it I say goodbye okay so like I said earlier don't let the chord names intimidate you uh, the first chord is a B minor at 11 all right so if you know how to play a B minor bar chord just play that but hook your first finger because you want the open high E string that's the trick to the song he's those open high E and B string uh, is ringing throughout a lot of these I'll show you how to do it picked. I'll show you how to do it strummed in case you don't want to pick it. You can do it both ways. But you're going to play that B minor at 11 as your first chord. So open high E string. Second chord, very easy. Just take your first finger off that A string and you hit the open A. And that's an A basically over a B minor uh, at 11. I'll just call that for brevity six going forward A over B minor. See, A in the bass and play like that B minor chord. Right? Then your next chord, just leave these three fingers down, which kind of looks like an A minor chord, right? Leave them down and just grab the third fret on the low E string. That's your G note. Technically, where it's G flat because we're a half step down, right? But you're going to play that chord again with that open high E string. And that's a G major 13th because he adds a sixth and a major seventh, right? So, so far you have. B minor at 11, A over B minor at 11, G major 13th, and then the last chord, you're going to play that uh, F sharp note for the second fret. So the whole big movement here is these this bass notes, right, that you want to hit once and then the whole chord, right? Now, for this chord, you play it a little different. You let your first finger on that second fret, the low E string, you mute the A string. And your third finger is on that D string at the fourth fret. Then move your first finger up one fret, because you need that B flat note, third fret on the, the G string, B and E are open. And that's the chord. That chord is an F sharp seven at 11. Okay? So, basically you have, Right, so you get that B note, B chord, open A string. Right, you want to practice the bass, then third fret G, and then back that up a half step, second fret, move that second finger up one string, and let your pinky go, and you have the F sharp chord. All right, now the strum pattern, I'll make it easy for you. This is the pattern we're going to use, and then I'll show you how to make it easy where you can pick those high notes. 
Yeah. Right? So what you want to do is down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? So think of it in three parts. Down, then down, down, up, up, down, and then up, down, up. We're going to use that for most of the song. Down. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Play along. Okay, get that strum down on the B minor uh, at 11. Right, then you switch to that A bass. There's the G major 13. Okay, you can do it like that where it's all strummed, but he picks the notes in there. So here's an easy way that you could pick some of the notes right out of that strum pattern. Remember the pattern, down, 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 up, up. Now on those two ups, just hit the high E and then the B string. Down, 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 pick, pick, up, up, right? And then down, down. Okay, so you're doing this, I'll do it slow. picks, right? Okay, so that's an easy way you could just use that same strum pattern but on those two up strokes you do pick, pick, and you could do an up pick on the high E, up pick on the B, right? So you get that on each chord, right? And then that F sharp, right? Okay, it's an easy way you can incorporate it. You can do it either way, but the picking is a little bit more authentic to what Aaron Lewis does when he's playing it live. Believe it or not, that's a big part of the song you have down already because that progression is the progression he uses in the intro. He does it two times, and then he goes into verse one where he does the same progression, exact same way, two times. The, so this is it, I must say goodbye. That goes into the pre-chorus. Hey, if you've got a second, please subscribe to the channel. You know, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And ring that subscription bell, because then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Also, leave a comment below. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see in the future. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up, give it a like, share it, and thank you so much for your support. And the pre-chorus is, so when the day comes and the sun won't touch my face. Sound like this. left this place that's been so cold. On cold you go back to that B minor at 11 and that starts the chorus. Look at my face and all the stories I'll tell you I can't erase. Okay, so the pre-chorus. Basically you're going to play this G5 chord. You mute out the A string with this first finger kind of spilling over. So when the day comes and that go to a D, sun won't touch my face. And then E minor, tell the ones who cared enough that I've F sharp, bar chord, full bar chord, finally found this place. And on that E minor, I sometimes see him play it when he plays it live. He'll sometimes he'll play an E minor seven. Gives it a little different flavor. You could do either one of them. I'm just adding the high E and the B string with my third and fourth finger. You could play either one of them, right? And same strum pattern, down, 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 up, up, down, up, down, up. Same one. Sun won't touch my face. Minor tell ones. I finally left this place. And on that chord, to F sharp, you can just do two downs. He does it live a lot. He'll do two, I'll just do one down stroke. Let it ring. That's been so cold. All right, let's go into the chorus. Now, once we do this chorus, you'll have all the parts of the song. The, the, he does something just a little different at the end, which is basically an outro verse. Um, I'll show you that at the end, but here's the chorus. I'll play it for you and I'll go back and explain it. Right? That's been so cold.
goes back into the intro. For that chorus, it's similar to the verse and intro sections. Um, it's basically that's uh, been so cold, that B minor at 11, same strum pattern. Then look at my face. You're gonna play that A over that B minor at 11. Same as the intro, all the stories. You go to the G, major 13. Here's a little difference I can't erase. Now that's an A suspended second. Like an A major, if you know an A major, and then just take off your third finger. C gets that open high E and B string. Same strum pattern, A suspended second. The road is long. Go back to your B minor at 11. One more song, A suspended second again. A little something, now you go to G5. That when I'm gone, that gone is A suspended second. He does it one time, one hit. And then he goes, when, on when, you go to G5 for just one down, when I'm gone. So that gone, you're back into the intro, and he repeats the intro progression, which is the verse progression one time, goes into verse two, the road to hell along the way. Same as verse one, which goes into another pre-chorus, right? Uh, so when the day comes and the sun won't touch my face, uh, then it goes into another chorus that's been so cold. Then after that, he repeats the intro again, same thing, one time, and then it goes into this outro verse, which is the last verse of the song, verse three. So this is it, I say goodbye. At the very end now, he's gonna kinda add like the chorus part. So that outro verse is the same progression the first time around, like a regular verse, and then the second time around, after the G chord, the G major 13, right? What he does, he goes, when I'm gone, he goes to that Aces two like in the chorus, and then G5, when I'm gone. And he lets it ring, and that's the end of the song. So he plays that A sus two once, G five one down, um, B minor at eleven one time down, let it ring. I'll play that last line of that last verse. That's it, song ends. It's a really fun song to play. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you a free video lesson and ebook on essential bar chord playing techniques and changing techniques. It's a killer video lesson paired with an ebook. It'll really help you along in your guitar journey. Click on the link, I'll send it to you for free. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because that really helps us keep bringing the content and ring that subscription bell and you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. And if you want to check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego, California. It's a slamming record. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. I'd love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to it in the YouTube description box below. Check it out. And then if you have any questions on the songs or the gear I use or the studio production techniques or whatnot, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for your support over the years. Stay tuned. Got lots more coming up. Really excited about the songs I have coming up. Uh, keep up all that hard work on that guitar. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, Rock On. See you in the next lesson.